Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys some of my absolute favorite must-haves, essentials, every day, every night used items. And this is going to be a complete full list of everything that we have used and loved from newborn, literally popped out, birthed out, <laughs> baby, zero months old to three months old getting out of that newborn stage into the baby stage. Since it is three months worth of items, I definitely wanted to make sure that I was thorough with this list because I know some people do like my top 10 or the minimal or whatever, but it really doesn't encompass everything. So then you kind of have to pick and choose, well, I kind of like this the most, but we also use these things and then you leave that out of the list that I still think are essentials and must-haves. Again, these are my favorites. These are the things that I have loved, not only with this baby, girl but my last four babies as well so they are tried and true products and items that I just I can't live without in this stage before we jump right in make sure you give this video a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you're new because I would love to have you here and let's get started okay I tried to break these down into categories since we are doing just baby again 0 to 12 weeks or 0 to 3 months old starting with playtime essentials now I know some people are gonna be like what do you mean playtime zero to three months they're newborns they don't do a lot that is true but you still want to have them developing their eyesight hand eye coordination depth sounds touching uh, sensory things so because of that number one on this playtime list is love every play kits and their love every play gym now the play gym is something you're going to use the most from zero to three months, um, even beyond three months, but especially in that newborn stage. Love Every Play Gym has anything and everything you could possibly need for your baby at this stage. It's amazing, but paired with their play kits, it is even better. And that gets me to our partner for today's video, which is Love Every. So thank you, Love Every, for partnering with me today on this video. I have actually been using their play kits with my last two babies, Jade and Knox. They still get them to this day. Jade is actually four years old, and I am so, so excited to announce that Love Every now has extended their play kits to four and up to five years old, which is amazing. I love that because they're just so convenient. They're great. They pick out exactly what you need for each developmental stage of your child, what they should be playing with. They even have a book list for you as parents to read along what skill it's helping them develop and all of those things. Also other ideas to play with your children with those actual items in the play kit. The toys that are in there are also for about two to three months. So you're there, it's not a monthly every 30 day box that you're getting. It's actually for two to three months old and it will tell you that on there. With, um, for example, a zero to 12 weeks box. So they have everything in that box for zero to 12 weeks developmental for your child and how to play with them. It is so cool to finally have more items to show my baby girls. Thank you again, love every. We have loved you guys forever. I love their standalone products like the Play Gym. They have a couple other things as well. But I swear y'all these play kits are just a must-have for any baby any child they're just amazing it just really really takes the guesswork out and minimalizes your toys and the clutter everywhere which is one reason why I love them and it helps us learn what to put in front of our children my daughter my son Knox and now baby Ivy they love these products but Jade is ecstatic <laughs> that she got a new box definitely check them out I have a link for you guys down below in the description box I also have their Instagram up here on the screen and as well these are great gifts so if you know somebody that's about to have a baby that is zero to 12 week box would actually be great gift idea for a baby shower or for when baby comes even for grandparents if you want to buy a box to give to your kids grandparents so that when they go see grandma and grandpa they have stuff to play with there at their house so that's also a great idea you don't have to start these off at the newborn stage if your child is already one or two you can totally start off there so definitely check them out and thank you again love every for partnering today on this video and really every day of my life thank you for helping me out as a mama <laughs> All right, y'all, let's get into the rest of this video. Okay, so we're getting on to number two of playtime is gonna be contrast cards, which these are actually also come in the in your newborn play kit with Love Every, but you can get these in a booklet by themselves on Amazon. There's tons of other places that sell these, but black and white contrast cards are amazing for your kids and it really helps their eyesight. The next thing is gonna be jingle socks, which this is also in one of the boxes. It's a little bit older box for Love Every, but my daughter has already been trying to pull her feet up and grab her feet so I love finding these little socks with little jingle bells on the top put them on their feet so when they're kicking their feet they hear that noise or if they're starting to pull their feet up to their face and their hands they can touch it and pull it and hear the noises next thing is colorful scarves and silks 
These don't have to be specifically toys. If you have anything in your house that's kind of lightweight and flowy, it's a different color. It's fun to play like peekaboo with them and rub it all over their body. I like to throw it up and like go it over her head and pull it down slowly and talk to her at the same time. Babies love that. They think it's so fun and really you'll probably catch your baby's first giggle and laugh when you do that kind of play. This is gonna be closer to the three month stage or the 12 week stage, which is like a gripping teether. So I know Mushy I think has a little gripper ball. It's just what they can hold on to is a lot thinner for them to grab and put their whole hand around as a fist and hold it. But it also is teether as well. So when they start pulling it to their mouth and putting things into their mouth, which by now at 12 weeks, they're probably putting their hands in their mouth. This is a great one for that. And then last but not least for playtime, which this actually goes really just in general for a baby at this stage and a little bit longer is the snuggle me and a cover for the snuggle me. The snuggle me for my kids has been a absolute number one go-to essential must have no matter what. I've had it in the bed. I've put one, you know, in the living room. I move it around when they want to lounge around around me if I'm doing laundry or the other kids are playing with the baby. Disclaimer, they do say your baby is not supposed to sleep in it or nap in it, but I will say from my own personal experience, and again, use your own judgment on this, but I've had it in my bed before. If, if I'm laying in the bed, especially when I was early postpartum, I would lay my baby in it right next to me and I would have her sleep in it as a nap time thing every once in a while because me personally, my babies usually co-sleep because I breastfeed on demand. If for some reason I needed to put her down and I was trying to just chill and not have her right on top of my body, I would put her in there. And I was right there as well to be there next to her, make sure nothing was going on. Use your judgment. And again, a snuggle me's disclaimer is to not do that. <laughs> Moving on to dressing, which I didn't know what else to call this because <laughs> I was gonna put clothes, but I kind of have other things on this list that are not clothes. So we're gonna just call it the dressing category. We've got newborn socks and these are amazing you guys the only socks you should be putting on your newborn because every other brand and every other type because trust me i've tried them with five kids they do not stay on your baby the only ones that i found that actually work are these ones from amazon which again anything in this video i will have linked down below as long as i can find the link for it and they will be exactly what i have gotten not like some similar thing if it is similar i will put that next to the description these newborn socks from amazon are like nurse approved from the hospital they're a little bit longer they're tighter around the ankle area Slim I don't even know how to explain them. They're just better. They're way better. They fit better. They're actually better for mittens as well because they are so skinny and tight. So if you need to put mittens on your baby, the mittens never stayed on my babies. I would put socks on their hands and these socks never came off. So these socks are a must have. I love them. Okay, next thing is gonna be footed rompers or sleepers. I feel like everybody knows this pretty much, but if you're pregnant, you've already found this out. If you've had other kids, you know that this is a must have. Most people say the zipper because it is easier. You don't have to do all these snaps. I technically don't care either way, but my favorite brand is the Spearmint brand. Kite Baby is also a great one. But recently with my new baby, I found a amazing dupe to those on Amazon that I personally think are softer and actually are better quality. I will definitely link those as well for you guys to check out. The only problem is they run a little big. So the zero to three month is a little too big. I don't think that I would get that for your newborn, but they are a great dupe. So definitely keep that in mind. Now the next one is gonna be H&M baby clothes. Everything H&M for baby, preemie, newborn, I absolutely adore. They have all the really cute sweater sets that I love. Their sizing can sometimes be a little off, but just remember that whenever you see the numbers, it means up to that size. So if you're buying a zero to three month size, it's coming so that it can fit your baby up to three months old. I've also bought my preemie outfits there for the hospital, just in case baby was a little bit on the smaller side. I just absolutely love all of H&M's baby clothes. Next is gonna be Sully Baby. They're sleepers. They are like a pant and top set. I love the material, especially now that we're going into summertime. It's a great alternative because it's a little bit thinner. It's still soft and comfy and really nice on their sensitive skin, but it's a lot thinner material, so they're not gonna overheat. And they come in beautiful patterns, just like their wraps. Next is gonna be a baby blanket. Now this one, I can give y'all the link to the one that I have, but to me, this is a very personal preference. I just put it on this list because it is something that we use every single day, whether we're wrapping it in it, wrapping her in it, having her laying on it, whatever it is, you always have that one baby blanket that you've gotten for your baby that they just use almost their whole life. 
that that's something that they will end up taking with them and as a toddler sleeping with it and that type of thing. So definitely got to have that. Now we're going to go to beanies and turbans. Now if it's more winter, fall, beanies are awesome. I love turbans for baby girls and I will leave you guys some of the ones that I love down below for you to check out in the links. I also have bows and head wraps if you do have a girl. Those are just things that we use almost every day with my daughter. And again, I will leave some of the companies that we love down below as well. And then the Billy bibs, they sell beautiful bibs. They actually also have some unisex ones, but really kind of bohemian, really pretty patterns. Now these are not meant for food. These are definitely meant for a little bit younger babies that are teething and drooling. So when your baby starts to hit that stage where they're drooling a lot and everything seems to get wet, I love these just because they look beautiful and they are actually, you can use both sides of them. They have two different patterns on each side but you put it on your baby you tie it on it looks beautiful it can go with their outfit if you want to and it catches all the wetness so it doesn't get all over their clothes and all over everything else I just really really love them and we do use them almost daily last but not least on the dressing is jewelry we have bought baby girl some bracelets and actually matching bracelets for her and her older sister and also for me for all three of us girls to match but little Lunds Co and I absolutely love all of her bracelets I've bought many of them and I probably will keep on buying them but it was one of the first items I bought for baby Ivy when I found out she was a girl and I got her this little flower bracelet I had on her and in the hospital when we did our announcement photos and reel and stuff like that and she has worn them pretty much ever since I absolutely love them okay the next category is diapering and skincare. This one, the first one is going to be my three tiered rolling cart only because I use this every day and it is filled with diapers, wipes, clothes, burp cloths, all the essentials that we need. It's right next to my bed, which is where baby is with me all the time. We don't have like a separate nursery with all of her stuff all in it or at least not yet. For now, this is what we use every single day. So that is why it's on the list. Next is going to be the Ubi weighted wipe holder. I have never had a wipe holder ever in my life until I saw this one and I absolutely love it because who else hates when you're trying to pull a wipe out and you can't get it all the way out and either a ton of them come out or the whole thing is stuck and you're trying to do it with one hand. It's a horrible thing. The Ubi one has a weighted piece on top. So once you put the wipes in, you put this little weighted piece on top with the opening in the middle to pull wipes out and it helps pull out one at a time and then the lid closes and it has a perfect seal on it so your wipes do not get dried out. It is not heated or anything like that, but I don't really, I'm not down with the heated stuff, but it works amazing. Okay, next one is going to be diapers. And again, this is gonna be a, pref uh, a personal preference, but so far my favorite have been Coterie and the diaper brand, D-Y-P-E-R. I definitely, definitely love those. They're a little bit on the pricier side, but they're great for sensitive skin, all natural, you know, no extra ingredients in there, chemicals definitely love those, which goes into wipes. And top two is the Coterie wipes because they are just like, they're like a towel. They're so thick and they're awesome. They are like completely water. Um, and then water wipes, the actual brand water wipes. Again, both are a little bit on the pricey side, but to me, totally worth it. I absolutely love them. Okay, next is gonna be Hello Bello Everywhere Balm. I have used this whenever I need to, literally everywhere, but especially almost for rashes. Thankfully so far, Baby Girl has not really had any butt rashes. To me, it's a, a combination of using the good diapers that make sure that the moisture isn't in there next to her skin. I think using the water wipe. If anything, I, don't, I literally don't own a rash cream. It's the only cream I do have and I absolutely love it. Next is going to be the Roe Serum. This is R-O-E. This serum is more for moisturization. I like to put it on her and even my other kids before we put lotion on if it's they're coming out of the bathtub. It also helps with eczema and things like that. My kids don't have eczema but they can get dry skin. They get bumps and mosquito bites and scrapes and I think it works great for that as well. Not on an open wound but you know if they already have like a little scar or something, a little scrape, I'll put that on there and then put their lotion on. So I definitely recommend that serum. Next is going to be the Ella Ola oil. It's like a massaging oil and this stuff is just Oh, it's so decadent. I definitely recommend massaging your baby. I even do this with my toddlers. Doing a baby massage after a bath time or even right before you go to put them to bed and just kind of rubbing them nice and easy with this oil. The oil seeps into their skin. It's not very oily. It doesn't leave, you know, a sticky residue. It soaks into the skin really, really well. I even use it on myself sometimes on dry areas. I absolutely love it. And then also the Eight Sheep Organics Sleepy Body Lotion. This stuff is definitely needed for those nights that baby is fussy and tired and you've tried everything. I feel like it goes hand in hand with the baby massage 
and using the oil. Sometimes if I feel like I really need to get her to just chill out and I go to change her diaper, I will use this Sleepy Body Lotion on her legs. The essential oils that are in it and everything else, the magnesium that's in it, is definitely going to soak into the skin and the muscles and help their body actually relax, whether it's the senses of smell or the feel in the body. It definitely helps. It's also made for during pregnancy or if you're going through postpartum for yourself. Again, I use it on my toddlers. I really use it on everybody. <laughs> and it works amazing. The next thing we've used a ton is this little like bamboo, I guess, or wooden brush set. It's like a comb and a super soft bristle brush that I got for baby girl for her hair and her scalp to gently scrape her scalp for cradle cap just to like get all that off before we do like bath time or before I put like oils in there, massage it, which by the way, the Ella Ola oil, I do put that in her scalp too as well. That double brush set is like super inexpensive on Amazon. Again, I'll link it. To me is great quality. This thing is awesome. Also, by the way, talking about baby massage and these brushes, the super soft hair brush that I have in the set, I actually use for like sensory and I will take it and rub it kind of across her forehead do it on her arms and her hands and her tummy, her back, her legs, her feet. So just a little tip, I guess. Next thing is going to be the Frida Baby Snot Sucker. And I know some people are like, that is just so disgusting. But once you try it and you get past that part, it's literally satisfying and it's amazing. I've never been able to find anything that works as good as this to get all of that crap out of their nose as quick as possible so that they can breathe and then actually have a longer period of time open nasal breathing instead of immediate feeling like they already have mucus or something up in their, their nose. So I definitely recommend that thing. It's just it's amazing. And also this is mainly for if your baby feels like they're, you know, congested or they have a cold or something or they're getting sick. I use the Frida Baby Vapor Chest Rub and it's awesome because it comes in like a little, it looks like a miniature deodorant, that little like bar, stick bar thing <laughs> that you can roll up and then use that to to rub on their body, whether it's their chest, their feet, all of that, but it definitely works. It is made out of clean ingredients, so that's a plus. All right, next one, next category is bath time. We have the body wash from Tubby Todd. I love their stuff. Again, I've tried lots of products and there's some other ones that I will go to if we're run out of Tubby Todd and I also like those as well. But so far, Tubby Todd is at the top. Next is going to be the muslin towels. Now I know people talk about muslin burp cloths with actually I do have on this list, but they also make muslin towels for babies. I opt for these instead of getting those hooded baby towels because they're never big enough. They, I, I just don't like anything about them to be honest. Muslin towels is where it's at and it's literally just looks like a thicker muslin blanket that has a couple layers to it but it's super absorbent, it's warm, it's soft to the touch. And I have like four or five, I think I bought a pack that came with like four or five and I absolutely love them because I actually wrap my baby in it to put her in the bathtub and put water on it first to get her used to the water first and then open it up. And then I have another one set out already to lay her on that's dry to clean her up with. Definitely get you some of those. Next going into that is gonna be the bathtub, which is easiest to clean. It doesn't get, have any areas to get moldy or gross. It's the simplest one. It's actually pretty good to travel with. It's not too, too big. Now, I mean, if you're getting on an airplane, Mm, that's not the thing, but if you're driving somewhere, you could probably take it. Just the best one, I, I believe, at least until they get bigger. So definitely love this one. Next thing I got is this elephant shower head thing. It looks like a little elephant. It's battery powered and you stick that in the tub with them and then it's got a little hose and at the end it has like a little shower head that makes the water come out like a little shower. And that way you can have it sitting. It sucks the water from the bathtub through the elephant body and then you can use it to shower their hair, do it on their body and all of that. And it's gentle. It's not like shooting out super fast, but so far my baby has loved it. I have loved it. I think it's a great find. Next is going to be the Frida baby um, essential oil drops for the bath. Again, you just drop these into the bathtub for bath time, mainly for again, sick days, but I've used this even just to like calm her down at night. If I'm doing a nighttime bath, um, the scent alone is just really calming and really, really nice. And then last but not least, and this is only for my mamas that breastfeed or pump. I love to give my newborn babies breast milk baths. They are also great for cradle cap and they're also great for any of your kids that have any skin rashes or even get bug bites. Putting a, a couple bags of breast milk into their bathtub water and letting their body soak in it really, really is helpful. So if you do have any breast milk laying around, <laughs> 
<laughs> definitely put some in your bathtub every time you give your baby a bath it will not hurt them if you do it all the time you could do it once a week but it's definitely beneficial <laughs> we're getting down to it the next category is sleep and feed time <laughs> first one on this list is a passy and eclipse and this is my only favorite right this second because this is the ones that ivy has been loving and gravitating towards and that is the mam brand and the bibs brand but a specific nipple and shape so i will leave those up here for you to see and again link down below your baby is going to want something different than probably everybody else's baby so i'm telling you what she loves right now but these are not the ones that my other kids liked <laughs> It just depends. Next is going to be, like I said earlier, muslin burp cloths. The ones that are like extra large are awesome, super absorbent, soft. They're great to travel with because they roll up pretty tight. A bassinet or a Moses basket with a rocking base only because that is what we use. Everybody has their own preference on, you know, bedside sleep bedding things, <laughs> whatever you want to call it, a bassinet or crib, whatever it is. I use this Moses basket and I have it on a wooden rocking stand and it has worked great. It's actually perfectly level to our bed and I can just turn over and put her in right there. I love that it rocks so I can push it if she needs a little extra help going back to sleep or going down for her nap. It's right next to the bed, which is right next to the caddy and then also right next to where I have a lamp that I can dim and I also have a humidifier, which that is next on this list. A humidifier, we use it every single day for nap time we use it every single night i need it but especially baby girl needs it i just can tell that she sleeps and breathes easier when i actually turn it on <laughs> and remember to turn it on and the one that we have i love because it's smaller it's compact i think it's aesthetically pleasing and it works amazing you can turn it to different levels so the highest level really shoots that that missed out which i really appreciate <laughs> next is going to be a stretch swaddle blanket this is because i would swaddle her not every single night or not every single nap time but just when i knew i could tell that she needed that extra like security feeling and I needed to get things done I couldn't hold her to sleep with her you know or get nap trapped she always seemed to calm down immediately and go to sleep quicker that way and because of that I've always loved to swallow my babies myself I don't like using all of those other ones with velcro and whatnot but I know everybody has their own preference I'm not saying that all those other things don't work or aren't great whatever works for you works for you but for me I personally love the stretch blankets from copper pearl and Solly baby have been the easiest for me to swaddle with and then also their blankets so it's nice to have <laughs> I love blankets you know different kinds just adding to the blanket collection <laughs> and then last on this is going to be the Wellaments gripe water I've had this in a ton of my other videos with lists and it's still on there especially for that newborn stage because they get the hiccups a lot they get tummy aches a lot sometimes or bubbles and the Wellaments brand gripe water is just top tier I it's my favorite so I definitely always have to have that on hand okay next category is travel so I named this travel because most of these things are for moving about um that doesn't always mean like traveling for like vacation it just means like if you're going to the store with your baby or you know what you need in your car kind of thing so first thing is going to be the diaper backpack that i have from lily bb and that is because i have that one right now and i absolutely love it and i think it's gorgeous especially for the price the price point and the quality that you're getting is unmatched so definitely check them out because they have different sizes they actually just came out with a fanny pack kind of like side i don't know what you would call that i guess i call it a fanny pack but i don't know what they call it but it's it's beautiful it comes in all of their other faux leather colors I have the black diaper backpack right now and oh, it's just gorgeous and just all around amazing. So definitely check them out, but that is a must for us right now. Next is going to be the Sully Wrap. This is to wear your baby or a baby carrier. I prefer the Sully Wrap from the zero to three month stage and on until she gets too big for it. So far she has loved it as well. It's obviously used when we go to a store or out and about, but it's definitely used at home <laughs> when I need to do dishes or I need to help the other kids and she's fussy and she needs to take a nap, but I can't get her down I'll put her in that and she'll pretty much fall asleep within like five minutes or less and then I can do other things and let her take some of her naps in the Sully Wrap so it's definitely a must-have for me and I, I have a huge collection of these and it's, it's growing and growing <laughs> by the day <laughs> I love them next is gonna be a car seat obviously <laughs> I feel like this is a duh but I added it to the list because I do have to use it every day pretty much or whenever we leave I do have the even flow car seat um, mainly because I also have the even flow double stroller it can go from one a single to a double and because we have so many kids and I have a toddler that doesn't like to you know wants to be carried sometimes it was a must-have so that is the next part of this travel list is the stroller and the car seat us personally we use the even flow pivot expand double stroller I think is what it's called but so far it has been awesome 
I love it. I feel like the even flow car seat is pretty light and it is very cushioned. It feels really comfortable for baby girl. All right, y'all, now we're getting to the extras. This is my like little add-on. So first is gonna be a sound machine. I have been wanting the Hatch sound machine forever. I just haven't gotten one yet. I'm still planning on getting one at some point. But until then, I actually downloaded a uh, white noise like app on my phone and I turn on, she actually likes the brown noise better. So I've turned on the brown noise on my phone at nighttime and I actually don't use it every single time she sleeps, which I probably should you know, to keep her on that, knowing it's time to sleep and you hear that noise. But it definitely helps because I have put it on sometimes and I can tell it helps her go to sleep, stay asleep. You know, it drowns out all the other noise if the other kids get crazy. Definitely think that's a must. You don't have to get the hatch. There's tons of other sound machines. Just do your research, find what you like. Personally, I am aiming to get the hatch. Next is going to be a monitor. I don't have one right now because I don't really need one. She's pretty much in my arms all at all times. She sleeps with me most of the time. If she's not napping on me, she's in the wrap. So I don't really need one at this time. I probably will at some point. So I don't have a specific like brand or type, but I definitely think that should be on the list for any of you guys that know that you need one. Next is gonna be a fan for the stroller or the car seat. Mainly because it is summertime. I also live in Texas and it has been ridiculously hot. You need to have a fan in the stroller for if you're covering them up from the sun and that sun, that heat can get trapped in there just to circulate maybe not to like point it right on baby but actually just to circulate the air inside the stroller with the little canopy over and also on the car seat because when you get in your car it usually takes a little while for the air to circulate to the back even if it's just that second row so it's nice to have I don't have one just yet because we don't really go anywhere very much right now but I will be getting one within the next couple weeks next is going to be a little basket or a bin in any living space in your home that you are in the most. So if you're in the living room a lot with your baby, then you have one in there and all it has is like a couple diapers, wipes, maybe a changing mat, clothes, just so you're not like walking all over the house for stuff. And then another one in your car, leave maybe like one of the Soli wraps in there. Obviously certain things that you know you can leave in there without overheating, I guess. But a definitely baby carrier in there is always nice because sometimes you're gonna forget that. Well, sometimes you're probably gonna forget that the most and be out and about and wish you would have brought a baby carrier. That's a good one to have in the car. Next is gonna be the uh, Nuna Leaf Rocker. I found this recently and I do still wanna get one. I don't have one because my toddlers would probably sit in it and break it all the time. And I, I can't keep, you know, when we're not using it, I can't keep like lifting it up and putting it somewhere else around the house up high where they can't reach it. That's why. And again, because she's usually <laughs> in the wrap or we're playing with her. I don't really need her in anything at the moment. So I don't have one, but if you're looking for something, I think that would be the way to go. Next is gonna be the Baby Bjorn Carrier. I have one of these, but I want to upgrade whenever she is out of the Sully Wrap. When she's done with that, when she's too big for it, I definitely love the Baby Bjorn Carrier. They do have the mini size and some really soft materials, like the jersey knit material. And the mini size is great for newborn, like starting at newborn, because most baby carriers you cannot use until they're a little bit bigger. But this mini size from Baby Bjorn is actually made smaller so that you can start using it at the newborn stage. So let's say your baby doesn't like to be in a wrap, they'd rather be in a carrier, who knows? You don't you don't know how to put the wrap on and you want something easier with just some clips on it That's why I would put that on there. All right, y'all. I hope you enjoyed this video I hope it was helpful Let me know down below if I missed anything that you feel like is an essential to you because I know some mamas read the comments And they could possibly get some ideas from you guys as well Because obviously my list is not like the end-all be-all and this is only what you should be using everybody has their own preferences Don't forget to subscribe if you are new. I would love to add you to our soul tribe mama family and make sure that you share this video with any expecting mamas that need it or any friends or family that you know of that this might be helpful for. It definitely helps my channel out when you do that. And again, like I said, down below are all the links. Hopefully I have everything linked. I hope that I can find everything and make sure you check out Love Every, their play kits, whether it's from newborn to four to five years old or their standalone products, especially the play gym, you guys, for your newborns. Uh, awesome. I just love it. It's so worth it, you guys. I promise you. Their play kits and the play gym are just completely worth it. So definitely check them out. Again, thank you, Love Every, for partnering with me today on this video. I love you guys, my Soul Trauma Mama fam, and all of you who haven't joined yet, love you too, because you just watched my video, and I'm super grateful. I will see you guys on my next one. Bye!